Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're going to be ranking the top 10 best point guards in NBA 2K22, my team, right now. There are a lot of really good point guards, even this early in the year. This list is very hard to make because there are a lot of very, very solid point guards. And um, some of these guys, I think, can perform at a very high level on your lineup for a while. We'll be, um, have a, I have a decent amount of staying power in the game because there are some pretty decently complete cards, even this early in the game at the point guard position. Um, before we hop into it, if you have, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uploading tons of NBA 2K22 content. Unfortunately, I did get banned, and I think I got banned for MT selling. I'm hoping it's only a week ban, maybe two. Um, we'll have to wait and find out because 2K's chat support is down. So I submitted a ticket with them, and I will keep you updated on my Twitter as to what happens with that. Uh, but for that reason, if it is a only like a week or two ban, I will not be making a new account, so I won't have any videos coming from my account. Therefore, that means I'll probably have less videos as a whole. That being said, I will try to borrow people's accounts and record as many gameplays and things like that as possible from other people's account in the next week or however long it winds up being so that I can try to get y'all as much content as possible but the amount of content will definitely be going down for that period of time and I do apologize for that also make sure you hit that subscribe button like I did say and without further ado let's hop right into it take a look at the top 10 point guards so at the number 10 position we have Ruby Trey Young the issue with Ruby Trey Young is that he's not on 2kdb so for that rate because if you look up trade trey young on 2kdb um it doesn't show the evo requirements it just shows the base 80 overall and there's no way to show the evo requirements so that's kind of an issue that being said i can tell you all this ruby trey young if you pick the playmaking upgrade has 19 silver badges 11 bronze badges uh, i did look it up i have a video on trey young yesterday as well if you do want to see his badges fully evolved um i did the playmaking evolution he gets like an 83 pointer 94 3 88 speed speed of bomb acceleration um 19 silver Silver badges, 11 bronze badges. He's got like silver quick first steps, silver handles for days, bronze chef, um, bronze limitless spot up, I think. He's got a decent amount of dribbling badges, playmaking badges, shooting badges. Doesn't have any defensive badges, but he is a very, very nice shooter. <clears throat> I like his dribbling as well. I do have a gameplay on this Trey Young card if y'all want to check him out further as to what he's looking like as a Ruby. Very, very good point guard, and I think he is a top 10 point guard, just barely in 2K22, my team, right now. At the number nine position, we have downtown Freddie Brown, who is a Kyrie Irving clone of sorts. Um, and this, like six seven probably seven through nine areas very very tough i feel like because there's a lot of solid point guards in the game right now but fred brown is a, a 90 91 overall amethyst um 91 offense 88 defense he's six foot three at the point guard position which is nice that having that extra height over some of the other guys who are six foot six one is definitely nice 13 gold badges 11 silver and 20 bronze 92 shot three 90 speed um not really able to dunk but he's got decent defense with an 88 perimeter 81 lateral quickness and 85 steel 90 speed with ball as well as nice he can speed boost shooting wise he's got some solid badges he could also add chef to him if you wanted to you can add blinders which are nice shooting badges as well uh playmaking badges he's got silver first quick first step bronze handles for days gold bailout bronze ankle breaker bronze stop and go bronze unpluckable he's got some decent badges defensively as well got some decent badges interceptor intimidator ankle braces pick dodger cannot get clamps which is a little bit disappointing but that being said He's a very, very good card. He's got a lot of speed and good height at the point guard position, especially to start off the year as well. Animation-wise, he's got the Kyrie jumper on quick, which is a pretty decently quick jumper at this point in the game. Uh, I think Kyrie's jumper is better this year than it's been in previous 2Ks as well. Pro signature size up, which is a Zeta size up I like a lot. I was using this size up um, with Mike Conley, actually, in the draft last night. I was having a lot of success with it, which is not a nice dribble stick. Most of these dribble sticks, I don't really recognize that much, but I can tell you that pro signature size up is a good dribble sig for a point guard to have i can say that with confidence at the number why did i did i not type him in i don't know at the number eight position we have cardiac kemba um this kemba walker card is a guy who i've seen a lot of people have success with he seems like a really really nice shooter i doubt he's much of a defender but as a scorer and a shooter, he's going to give you a lot. Only 32 uh, silver badges and 11 bronze badges. Doesn't have any gold badges, which is a little bit disappointing, but he does have 90 speed, speed, ball, and acceleration, 85 shot three. Not going to be dunking. Decent defense. Statistically, he's worse than Fred Brown. I think his jump shot is better, though. I think his dribble stakes feel like, look like they're a little bit better. He has the bronze chef, bronze limit, the spot up. As a shooter, he's really good. Defensively, you can't add any badges to him. He only has Hustler. Uh, Playmaking badges, play badges, he does have the silver quick first step, handles for days, bronze down hill silver ankle breaker bailout dimer things like that shooting badges are looking decent as well animations kimba's jumper on quick is a very very nice jumper he's got his own dribble six for the most part and i don't really know um how these are looking to be completely honest but 
I will say, Kemba Walker is a card who I've seen some clips on Twitter already with of people having a lot of success with him, especially on the offensive end of the court. And he looks like a great option, especially on that end of the court, even if he is going to struggle defensively just a little bit. Now, at number seven, we have a guy who I think I am ranking lower than most people would. And that is Diamond Kyrie Irving. I think a lot of people would have probably in their minds, Diamond Kyrie is a top two, three point guard in the game. And the thing is offensively, Kyrie is very, very good. Defensively, I feel like he's lacking a lot. And he's only, he is 6'3", 6'4", wingspan. He is that Fred Brown. And he has 32 goal badges, which is really nice, as well as solid hot spots. But Kyrie does not come, or no, he, I'm sorry, I'm wrong. He has gold chef, um, bronze limitless spot up, which is nice. He's got the uh, handles for days. He needs quick first step added. He has no defensive badges and cannot get clamps, which hurts him a little bit. But um, he does have good ball handling, solid shooting, great in mid-range, decent athleticism, not incredible, poor defensive stats. He's not going to be dunking the ball at all. Kyrie jumper is good. Um, my thing about Kyrie is I just don't know. Uh, I haven't used the card enough, and I have had a lot of success with the guy who's at number six. And I know the top five point cards I feel like are on that next level of being able to play both offense and defense. And Kyrie is not much of a defender. And I think for that reason, I would put him at number seven. I think there's an argument to me made that he's at number six, but the guy I have at number six is a guy I've already had a ton of success with and really love as a card and also gives you an extra element on the offensive end of the court. And that is Ruby Damian Lillard. Statistically and badge wise, Damian Lillard is not going to be as good as Kyrie Irving. I am completely aware of that. He only has 12 gold badges but he has more total badges than Kyrie and also while not being able to play defense his ability to dunk with an 85 driving dunk I feel like makes him just that little bit better also does have the the bronze chef or I'm sorry the silver chef he's got um silver limitless spot up as well gold circus threes catch and shoot uh he's got glue hands and unpluckable on gold bailout dimer quick first step on um silver and then handles for days on bronze Defensive badges wise, he doesn't have anything and you can't add them, but his ability to dunk the ball is super nice. Also, I prefer his jump shot to Kyrie's. I think Dame's jump around quick is super, super good, especially this year. I have a lot of success greening it already. His size up is good. It's easy to burst out if he gets a nice like speed boost animation that a lot of point guards don't get. His jewel sticks are very, just very, very nice between the legs to a speed boost to the side. Looks like an effective move with Dame. I think he's going to be one of the better point guards in the game right here. Also, his explosive escape is not a bad escape at all. And for that reason, I think Damian Lillard is just a little bit better than Kyrie because neither of them can play defense, but Dame gives you that extra element as a slasher. And I think I just love his dribbling and his jump shots so far in this year's game. At number five, we have Bob Cousy, a guy who I think, again, I think most of these top five, honestly, are pretty much interchangeable. But that being said, Bob Cousy, while being a very, very solid card, um, I think he's limited because he's only six foot one. He's got a good wing zone, which does help him out. 17 goal badges, hot spots from everywhere outside the three, which is pretty dope. Um, not going to be dunking the ball at all, but he does have a good three pointer, 90 speed suit ball and acceleration. Shooting badges are looking solid. Comes with, does not come with chef or it's limit spot up, but you can add those two on him. Otherwise, shooting badges are looking decent. Um, ankle breaker, dimer, on quick on are on gold um downhills on gold as well bail and quick first step on silver handles for days is not on the card at all which hurts a little bit you'd like to be able to add that and i would recommend adding that to him and defensively he has the clamps badge as well um which is definitely a nice badge to have that none of these other guys have really had is that clamps badge um other thing about Bob Cousy's jumper is nice. It's the Chris Paul base. Uh, it's it's a decent jumper. It's good early game. It's easy to green. I think it's kind of slow, especially later in the year. I feel like it's a little bit of an issue. But right now, at this point in the game, um, the Chris Paul base is not a bad is not a bad thing at all. Also has the safety dribble style, which means he will be able to do the next gen quick stop from two K twenty from two K twenty one. If you all know what I'm talking about. Um, which I think most cards don't really have that shifty drill base right now, but some of them do, but that dribble style is definitely an extra nice feature that Bob Cousy does give you. Um, at number four, we have, I'm sorry, I forgot who I had number four for a second. We have Walt Frazier. Walt Frazier is a very, very solid option, I think, at the point guard position. This is the guy who I thought when I was starting this list, I would put at number one. But it does turn out that I think there are three guys slightly better than Walt Frazier. Walt is a 94 offense, 94 defense with two Hall of Fame badges, 25 gold badges. The thing about Walt is that despite the fact that as a card, he is very complete. He has the silver clamps and intimidator, gold interceptor, gold ankle bases, gold defensive leader, gold hustler. He's got bullet passer and floor general handles for days on gold. Uh, does not come with quick first step or ankle breaker, which are two badges that you do probably want to try to add to him. Shooting badges wise, he's decent, has two hot spots from outside the three and an 82 three pointer, which isn't crazy high, but it's definitely good enough, especially with how easy greening is right now. 89 speed through ball acceleration elite defensive stats and the 70 driving dunk so he does give you the 
ability to slash through him and dunk the ball a little bit. The thing about Walt is statistically he's great, badge-wise he's very solid. Jump shot 36 is not a good jumper in my personal opinion. I don't like it very much, I think, and especially with it being a normal time, it's going to be one of the slower, more baited jumpers for a point guard. He does have the pro signature size up, which is good. Moving behind the back is Kyrie's, which is the pro one, I, I believe, um, because I know Kobe has the pro one. It's the pro one from previous 2Ks, which is a decent behind the back, but that slow jumper hurts him a little bit, and I think it holds him back from hitting that next level when compared to the top three point guards in the game. Uh, defensively, he is probably the best point guard in the game, though I will say that right now and with no hesitation. At number three, we have Sleepy Floyd. Sleepy is a very, very solid card. He's got great size at the point guard position, especially at this point in the year. Also, um, well, no, he's only 6'3". Walt's actually 6'4". But he does have decent size still at the point guard position. 6'6", six, six wingspan as well. Two hot shots from outside the three. He's got four Hall of Fame badges, including difficult shots, hot zone, hunter, floor journal, and unpluckable. Uh, badge wise has the gold clamps or silver clamps, silver interceptor, gold ankle braces, hustler pogo stick, gold dimer, silver quick first step, silver handles for days, ankle breaker, and downhill. Comes with um, the ability to. I know he doesn't actually. He doesn't get chef. He doesn't get limits with spot. I'll push hurts him a little bit. I don't think a Walt got those either. Um, but he does have an 84 three pointer, 89 speed acceleration with speed of the ball, 70 driving dunk, just like Walt. Uh, defensively, he's not quite as good, but I like his jump shot a little bit more. Jump shot 22 base. Uh, this upper release 12, I don't think it's great. But with the jump shot 22 base, which is the same base as you got like Andrew Wiggins, Mitch Richmond have, it's definitely a very nice base, similar to the Rudy Gay base. Um, it's a good jump shot and does have um, the Kawhi Leonard boom behind the back as well, which I'm actually not sure with what, what this behind the back looks like. I don't think I've used any. Oh, it's the Pro 5. Terrell Brandon has it. It's the Pro 5 behind the back. Um, pretty good behind the back. Um, and yeah, I think Sleepy's just a very good card on both ends of the court. He gives you solid defense. He gives you solid offense. Has a slightly better jump shot than Walt Frazier. Same slashing ability. For that reason, I put him just a little bit above Walt Frazier. At number two is a guy who I very seriously considered putting at number one, and that is Ron Boone. This Ron Boone card, I would be lying if I said I had ever heard of Ron Boone before two days ago. That being said, he's phenomenal. Hot spots from the corners is nice. 6'2 with a 6'3 wingspan. 84 three is a little low, not too low. 91 speed acceleration speed with ball is a couple couple digits higher than most of the cards in this list, which is nice to have. 60 driving dunk. I believe that means he is capable of driving of dunking the ball. Probably won't dunk unless he's wide open, but does have decent defensive stats with an 86 perimeter, 87 lateral quickness as well. And then also comes with 27 gold badges and 19 silver badges, which is a lot of solid badges. Um, he does have the ability to get chef and blinders as well, which are nice. Hat comes with gold. Gold Hot Zone Hunter, Gold Green Machine, Silver Lucky Number 7, Catch and Shoot, uh, Gold Handles for Days, Quick First Step, Unpluckable, Stop and Go, Ankle Breaker, uh, Downhill, Can't Get Dimer, but it's okay, Gold Clamps as well, Gold Interceptor, Gold po or Silver Interceptor, Silver Pogo Stick, Silver Pickpocket, uh, Gold Ankle Brace. It's just a very, very solid all-around card. One of the more complete options in the game right now, I would say. Also, Paul George Base. And Paul George upper, Paul George's jumper is always one of the easiest jumpers to green. Pro signature size up is a good jump shot, or is a good size up as well. Just a very, very good all around card. I like him a lot. Uh, I think he's a very, very good. Um, I don't know. I just think he's a very, very good option at the point guard position. He's got decent size, comes with pretty much all the badges that you'd want on gold, as well as the ability to get blinders and chef. Playmaking badges are great. Defense is super solid. I think this is one of the best cards in the game at the point guard position, and I think there's an argument to be made that he's number one. And at number one, we have Darren Williams. For me personally, I would put Darren Williams as the best point guard in the game right now. I think it's close. I think you can make the argument for Ron Boone, and I will explain why. Darren Williams has less total badges. He does have three hops, and Ron Boone doesn't have any, but he has like 10 less total badges. Um, also comes with a 93, 93, 93 point shot. I'm sorry. 93 speed acceleration speed of the ball, which is the best on this list. 70 driving dunk, which is tied for the best on this list besides Damian Lillard, but he does have the ability to dunk the ball. Solid enough defensive stats. S Hall of Fame difficult shots, floor general and pluckable. Silver clamps, interceptor, uh, pick dodger, pickpocket. Um, he can get badges like rebound chaser, uh, intimidator, things like that. If you want to add those to him badge wise, you can also add chef to him. You can add limitless spot up. You can add blinders, circus threes. Um, he already has a decent slashing ability as well. Gold quick first step and dimer and ankle breaker, which are three of the better playmaking badges. Um, just overall, I think he's a very good card. The one thing that holds this Darren Williams back compared to these other guys in the top five is that he doesn't get handles for days. So 
If you are a guy who likes to dribble the ball a lot with your point guard, I think that might be an issue for you. And for that, that might cause you to move Darren Williams down this list a little bit. But I think D. Will, as a shooter with his speed as well as his uh, jump shot, which is jump shot 38 with Rudy Gay upper, super, super chicken, easy to green, and relatively fast. Um, I do think Darren Williams is still probably the best point guard in the game. It's close. You can make an argument for really any of these other three guys, I think, depending on how you play and what you're looking for in your point guard. But for me personally, I'd probably take Darren Williams as the best point guard in the game right now. So kind of a long winded video. I apologize, um, but I hope you did enjoy the video. Hope you did enjoy my breakdown on each and every one of these cards as well. Let me know what you think of my list. And if you did enjoy the video, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very soon. And I appreciate you. Peace.